All right, so we're headed to the Yuha Basin to look at the oyster beds. Got the pilot here, Josie Jeep. Got the boys. What do you say, Zach? What's up? Alright, forecast in the mountains is supposed to be about 70% rain at 1 o'clock. We're going to drop down to the desert floor and we're probably looking at about a 40% chance of rain down there. So we'll just play it by ear when we hit the trails because we're so low we don't have anybody else with us just in case we get stuck. Should be here at Yuha Basin probably in about 30 minutes. Yeah. Look how big it is. I think it's pretty big. Of course, leave it to you to find stuff. I can barely find my, my socks. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them right there. I guess you gotta know what you're looking for, huh? They're attached. Look at all of these. Wow, look at that. So many of them. And they're all fossilized. Ones. There's like all, all, a whole bunch of big ones right here. Yeah. They're all fossilized. Oh there's a whole thing of them. This whole bit, look at it, babe. This whole hill of them. So we made it to a, uh, a huge, like the mother load of, of uh, fossilized oysters, what do they call them, oyster beds.
here in the Yuha Basin, there's signs that say no cross-country travel. I mean, these are all oyster beds. I'm really surprised that they haven't just like fenced this all off. Not that I'm saying that we should close all this stuff, but maybe people should use common sense. Look, there's trails all over this place. We're parked over there down in a wash on the road. Literally, all you gotta do is park over there and walk over here, check it out, and walk back to your car and take the trail. There's other places in the Imperial Valley that you can do cross-country travel, but this shouldn't be the one. You know, I know a lot of people when they shoot these videos, they uh, they don't put like the, the the date and the time that they you know they came to their destination. So I'm always doing research for all these big trips, and you know there's snow in the background and or you know up in the mountains, but they're like at Alabama Hills, and I have no clue what time of year they're in. So right now this is uh, January 2019. Um, it's like 60 degrees out. Maybe a little cooler. Uh, we definitely have some some light sprinkles and all that. And then towards the mountains, you can see that we're expecting a storm to come through San Diego area. <clears throat> but it's nice. I mean, there's. I'm not really worried about the threat of flash floods right now. Um, and we're, you know, yeah, we're in the wash, but it's we're we're not we're not expecting real weather until later on. As my son up there was saying, this goes on forever. All right, so part of the Omaha Basin is that they have these things called uh, geo. What are they called? Geographs? Geo geo glyphs. So. Yeah, let's go uh let's go check it out. <laughs> Let me see where it's bleeding at. <laughs> 